transient response RLC series circuit with sinusoidal excitation. Let us consider a series RLC circuit having the sinusoidal excitation V equals to Vm sin omega t plus phi. Now applying the KVL for this circuit, we are going to get L di by dt plus ir plus 1 by c integral i dt equals to the v which is nothing but vm sin omega t plus phi. Now dividing the whole equation with l we are going to get di by dt plus i r by l plus 1 by cl integral i dt equals to vm by l of sin of omega t plus phi. Now differentiating this equation you are going to get that d square i by dt square plus di by dt of r by l plus 1 by cl of i equals to vm by l omega cos omega t plus phi. This you can write as so p square of i plus p i of r by l plus i by cl equals to vm by l omega cos omega t plus phi where p is nothing but d by dt net current solution i is given by the complementary function ic plus the particular solution of ip now let us assume that ip equals to a cos omega t plus phi plus b sin omega t plus phi now let this be equation 1 2 and 3 so 4 this is phi this is b 6 now differentiating ip you will be getting d ip by dt equals to minus a omega sin omega t plus phi plus b omega cos omega t plus phi let it be equation 7 now differentiating again you will be getting d square ip by dt square is equals to minus a omega square cos omega t plus phi minus b omega square sine of omega t plus phi let this be equation number 8 assume i equals to ip in equation number 4 the p square of i is nothing but equation number 8 and pi is nothing but equation number 7 now substitute then you will be getting minus a omega square cos omega t plus phi minus b omega square sin omega t plus phi plus r by l minus a omega sin omega t plus phi plus b omega cos omega t plus phi plus 1 by lc of a cos omega t plus phi plus b sin omega t plus phi equals to omega vm by l cos omega t plus now comparing on both sides, we get the sine coefficients as minus b omega square here, yeah, sine term minus a omega r by l plus b by lc equals to 0, this is sine term and the cos term minus a omega square plus b omega r by l plus a by lc equals to omega vm by l theta taking common we'll be getting 1 by lc minus omega square which equals to sending that to other side a omega r by l a equals to taking omega by l out of this we'll be getting 1 by omega c minus omega l divided by omega by l into r a equals to v of 1 by omega c minus omega l divided by r now substitute the value of a here minus b by r of 1 by omega c minus omega l of omega square plus 
b omega r by l minus b by sorry plus b by r 1 by omega c minus omega l of 1 by lc equals to omega vm by l you calculate that you are going to get b equals to r vm divided by r square plus 1 by omega c minus omega l whole square substitute that here you will be getting that a equals to 1 by omega c minus omega l divided by vm divided by r square plus 1 by omega c minus omega l whole square a b value then equation number 3 ip equals to vm 1 by omega c minus omega l divided by r square plus 1 by omega c minus omega l whole square of cos omega t plus phi plus r vm divided by r square plus 1 by omega c minus omega l whole square of sine omega t plus phi. Now from this equation I am taking common vm by square root of r square plus 1 by omega c minus omega l whole square then the remaining term will be 1 by omega c minus omega l divided by r square plus 1 by omega c minus omega l whole square of cos omega t plus phi plus r divided by this is under the square root square root of r square plus 1 by omega c minus omega l whole square of sine omega t plus phi now consider the right angle triangle so this is r and this is 1 by omega c minus omega l then this one is square root of r square plus 1 by omega c minus omega l whole square from which if this is theta then sine theta equals to 1 by omega c minus omega l divided by this that is r square plus 1 by omega c minus omega l whole square similarly cos theta is equals to r by square root of r square plus 1 by omega c minus omega l whole square now substitute that then you are going to get ip equals to vm divided by root of r square plus 1 by omega c minus omega l whole square of sine theta cos omega t plus phi plus cos theta sine omega t plus phi now for the simplification ip equals to this is sin a cos b cos a sin b which is the word sin a plus b so vm by root of r square plus 1 by omega c minus omega l whole square of sin a plus b that is omega t plus phi plus theta now from this theta equals to tan inverse of sin by cos which is nothing but 1 by omega c minus omega l divided by the r now substitute that you will be getting plus tan inverse of 1 by omega c minus omega l divided by r this is r i now we know that the net current i is given by the complement function ic plus ip now we got the value of ip where the complementary function ic being equal to the dc response of or this is circuit which already we have discussed earlier the link is given in the description please go through it then which consists of three cases the first case over damped case where r by 2l whole square is greater than 1 by lc we are going to get ic equals to e power alpha t of c1 e to the power of beta t plus c2 e to the power of minus beta t then the net current i is given by this ic value plus ip value from equation 9 let this be 10 then this is the equation 10 uh, this is over damped case now case 2 is r by 2l whole square is less than 1 by lc which are ic equals to e to the power of alpha t c1 cos beta t plus c2 sin beta t that is equation number 11 then i is given by 
the 11th equation plus the 9th equation you can write then this is an under damped case case 3 r by 2l whole square which equals to 1 by lc here ic is given by e power alpha t of c1 plus c2 of t now let this be equation number 12 then the net current i is given by the equation number 12 plus equation number 9 this is critically damped case this is regarding transition response in rlc series circuit with sun side excitation if this video is useful please like share and subscribe